Want to help support the channel? Then why not check out the merch that's available from the links below in the description. Help out the channel and get more phenomenal stuff for yourself. And now with that, let's jump straight into the video. Hey Lightning Collectors, welcome back to another video. And today we have the hard to get Power Rangers in Space Silver Ranger. And I'm actually quite glad I got this from China in case anybody asks. And it was a pain to get here, but that's not bad about it. Let's talk about the video. Here we have Zane in his uh, Silver Ranger outfit. We've got his weapons lightning effect and obviously the lovely graphic right there. On the side, there is Zane. There, I really do kind of like that pose. There he is there. Top is fine. Bottom is there. So, if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. There's also that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And let's just jump straight into it. And here is Zane. He looks absolutely amazing. I love the gold. I love the visor. I love the way the helmet is. I, it's one of my favorite suits in uh, in space. So I really love the fact that they put the dome on the top, which is normal. If it didn't, it would look really weird. But if we look at the helmet and the way it is, I think he looks really kind of cool. We can see the vents here. Um, we can see, oh, mine's got a little bit damaged, but I'm not really bothered. But I do love the fact that, you know, the gold trim is really nice. On the front, we can see that there's the green squares. We've got uh, gold around his neckline, which looks fine, and then gold around his arms. I think mine's a bit kind of off, but I don't know if that's just the design of the suit. But we can see that the silver here is pretty much like the cog that, they've, they're, uh, that they're releasing. Uh, so I'm thinking that's where they're going with the silver for all the ranges at the moment. For what it is, it looks really nice that way. Dropping down really quickly, we can see the belt has the logo, which is there. And then again, we've got gold around the cuffs of the helmet. And that's pretty much it. It, it feels like they've just got a silver Sharpie and just gone to town on it for some strange reason. It just looks like that. Then we have the boots, which has basically got the gold trim, and that is pretty much it. There's not really much there. We've got ruffles where the leather would be, and there we go. Looking at the back, again, very, very plain, just gold, and that's it. We've got the standard joints. There we go. On the back, we can see there is some kind of like scratches, which kind of adds to it in my way, but maybe I'll get another one to replace it. But I do kind of like it. I think it needs to be a bit darker for some strange bizarre reason but that's just the way that the figure is and again we can see the gold around there and yeah back of the helmet we can see that there is the, the join there and there is more kind of a shine where it goes this way but it looks okay top of the helmet if you want to look basically the gold goes all around it and that is pretty much it let's look at the articulation that you get with the ranger his feet are exactly the same that's really loose that one is I wouldn't say is the best. That was a lot thicker. Um, oh man, <laughs> like even the legs, that is a really tough one to kind of crack. Like that is just, I'm not a huge fan when that sort of stuff happens. His legs, oh, oh man, like this is a really stiff figure, believe me. It's not the, not the best. It looks really, really nice. But obviously, I'm going to say it's a new figure. So obviously he bends a bit, but not much. Let's move his arms up and down. Up and down. Moves around like so. And then moves around like so. So yeah, it's not too bad. And obviously, he can move his head around like that. So it's a really, it's not bad. There are some things I really are eh about, but it's okay. One thing I didn't check, it's literally moving the arms like that. So yeah, they're a bit stiff, but not bad for what they are too. These are the accessories. This is the silver, uh, super silverizer. I'm hoping I got that right. I know people are gonna uh, say it's named wrong, but I, got to admit it looks really cool out of all the weapons like for the space rangers this one is i think my favorite one but this is when it's i think the super silverizer this is what i think looks absolutely kind of like spot on to me 
Uh, I really love this blade. And I think that if you're going to add the silver, uh, or, no, sorry, the lightning effect, and you have it like that, I think this works absolutely kind of, it works really, really well in my eyes. This is the Zane head, which we're going to be having a look at in a bit. It looks a bit like him from a certain side, but I always think if you painted this white, you'd have Flabba straight away um, from Beetle Box. <laughs> no one's picked up on that one yet, but for the look of it, it looks kind of awesome for the head that itself. Let's take his helmet off. I always do not like doing that because I feel like that's going to pop out at any point. Let's add on Zane. God damn. There we go. So it does click. It does look, it kind of looks like him like from a certain side, like, hey, how you doing? Uh, but I still think it looks like Flubber in this particular one. But it kind of adds to it a little bit, I think. It kind of makes it look quite nice and quite decent, to be fair. So I'm quite happy with this one. I think it's not one of the best helmets out there, but it looks okay. So it's, it's, it's on the top, I'd say middle tier or good tier helmets, uh, heads, should I say, not helmets, but yeah kind of adds more I like the silver hair or the white hair you know it looks quite nice all the way around uh parting is good but yeah this isn't too bad I think I'm going to keep the helmet on because I prefer them with the helmets on than civilian heads but it's a very nice touch and there we go there is Zane he is a really nice figure to be fair um I'm really surprised Hasbro at the time of this recording hasn't actually announced him I thought they would they may announce him whenever but I really, really like this figure. This is a nice one to add to the collection. I even, for this shot, even replaced his hands. Now, the one thing I will say that does annoy me that I think that they could have worked it a tad bit better is the way of adding this hand to kind of hold on to this. This to me was really frustrating because you have to take some time for him to kind of hold on to it and then kind of attach it. But when you pose him like this or you have him in a different way i think it really does bring out more to the figure and actually does a lot more than i would have thought of so i'm really happy with this one now question is have you got yours yet is this something that you're going to be getting let me know down below in the comments and if you like this sort of content and you want to see more hit the like hit the subscribe as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video チャンネルをサポートしてくれてありがとうございますチャンネル登録・高評価お願いします以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。